Oh, we fixing everything again because there is always something to be made. Recycling batteries from old laptops. I really wonder should I film this or do it by myself, but why not take you with me this rainy Saturday outside? Now this is a Lenovo, very small battery, only 11.1 volts. Uh, 21 28 watt hours so there is only three elements maybe 18650s inside but somehow I'm going to take out so I think the best way of opening these things is uh, the brutal way because they make them pretty tough. So. I'm not in my garage. Otherwise, I would have clamped it in the vice, but. There we go. I want to be careful. Exactly, I'm placing the poking thing. I don't want to poke it in the battery. If you watching this video, you may be wondering how I'm going to measure the capacity. This is what I'm going to use. If you watch videos on how to measure capacity, you definitely seen uh, one of these. I think that one is Opus Charger and uh, Little Color, but this was the cheapest. I could have get the other two were very expensive for what I needed so Do you think we're going to be? <laughs> you want too much, huh? No problem. There is a little board here on the back. It will be in the way. Can you go straight through the board then? Up. Nice Samsung cells. This one goes to the bin now. Okay, so these are the cells. 2600 uh, milliamp hours maximum capacity. Balancing, yeah. Thermal, thermal couple. Is it thermal couple? I think it's a thermal something. Uh, 
And so 2600 milliamp hours maximum capacity. And 5 amps maximum discharge. Which is normal for this kind of battery. Now, negative side, I'll just take. Should we leave the tap? Yeah, we'll leave the tap on. We'll leave the tap on. Now we'll leave the positive here as well. Because it's nice and tucked in. These on this side I'll take off. <coughs> Did you hear? I heard it. I heard s Oh man. Now it's pinched. Let's have a look. Yeah, so this is the problem when you take these off. Well, they're so hard that uh, I think here unfortunately this one will go straight into the bin. Or is it? I don't know. Let's see, I'll just uh, write something on top of it. I'll put an X. Just so I know. This one will chop off like this. I'm not going to tell the Take the welds off. Especially on the negative side. I think the positive is a lot stronger now. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Positive side on the 18650s is looks like there is a little bit more metal onto it good Good. Okay, so let's see what we have here. These are the two good ones. This one I'll test on my own. <laughs> now, to, ch to test the capacity, there is a few methods, but the most accurate one is using a charger and discharger to charge the batteries and then to discharge them. We'll see now the battery voltage at the moment which is exactly zero, that's why it's not catching it. Can you see? Now let's see onto this one. No, they're both zero. Can you see? Nothing, completely empty. What we can do in order to uh, start it, 
it give it a little bit like a jump start power which means that I have a charge battery right here and I have one lead on this side and the other one I'll put on the other side and this should give it a little bit of energy so we will be able to see some voltage onto the meter I'll just hold it like that, stop the video for a couple of seconds and we'll get back to it okay so let's see now it's been like five minutes oh yes good now set in automatic mode i'll start it up this will start giving it some charge and uh this fan is i'm not gonna comment comment on the fan <laughs> so uh it will give it a impulses we charge and uh, we'll charge it up and then we'll see what it says here in this graph milliamp hours yeah so uh it will be some time depending on the on the battery <coughs> i did the same with this one for the last six minutes and 20 seconds as you can see by the time we're counting here so let's see the voltage automatically pop up yeah okay automatic setting and you saw this one started around 2.3 volts now it's around 2.5 when it jumps to 2.7 it will start charging with an amp and yeah let's just leave them to work this one I still wonder Unfortunately, both batteries, I'm not gonna even bother with this one, are completely dead. This one is the third one, cannot charge properly. And the fourth one, I managed to charge it a little bit, but you can see I only have 43 milliamp hours for comparison. These are from an anchor power bank, and you can see usually it's 3000 milliamp hours. Uh, capacity for example like this one yeah this one is um, 2100 so it's like 65 percent capacity left this one as well and you can see here on the fourth one you can see that uh, I got that's on this battery yeah 2352 okay this one cannot even start it yeah fluctuates you just gotta such a high uh, resistance on the inside that it's maybe using the current to completely discharge it very quickly you can see now we can manually put it in a discharge mode i'll show you now so just a second it needs and uh discharge mode you can see how quickly it's dropping without even any load now when we put a one amp load onto it you can see it completely drops down yeah so completely dead yeah you can see two milliamp hours so unfortunately a little bit unsuccessful um, nothing we must throw them in the bin not in the bin but they need to be recycled right there collect them for recycling and yeah that's it unfortunately unsuccessful